Hey guys, it's Brendan Borman back from the 270 video. Tonight I'll be playing as George W. Bush taking on President Biden, who does have a Larry Hogan vice president, the one, the only, Eugene V. Debs. I'm going to start off with Virginia and North Carolina, see if I can block the old South and swing states. Looks like that Eugene is going to go double tapping into Florida, and so I need to open up some swing states. I need to go more than just Pennsylvania, Ohio, and Wisconsin. Might want to um, also go into Colorado, New Mexico, and Arizona. Just give me some options. He's likely going to either go in one of Pennsylvania or Wisconsin. Looks like he went the um, Pennsylvania, Iowa, Arizona town and gown route. So next I have to decide, do I go up in Pennsylvania? Do I actually pressure Florida or not? And I think for this situation, I'm in two of his three non-Florida um, swing states. I'm going to go the fourth pip, I think, in Pennsylvania just to avoid him getting swing. It looks like he's going to go Old South, so sneaky Old South. Um, he did pressure in Virginia and North Carolina. I could probably get swing this turn if I um, go up in a couple states, but let me go up in instead of Virginia. Let me go Colorado, New Mexico that are uncontested. I'll go up in North Carolina and let me pressure in a couple of his old South states just to see. He did go in New York, so he spent quite a bit of cash last turn. So he is going to pivot away from swing states into the old South, which we both should get that here on turn number four. So turn number five opens. I do have 115,000 um, to his 55,000 of old South money. So I'd like where we are. I'm going to pressure now in Iowa, open up in New Hampshire. I'm going to try to steal Georgia and then open up into some old, old South states. So hopefully we can take away that Old South bonus for a turn. He did spin in Florida, it looks like. So Eugene, what do you up to here, bud? I think I'm going to go up in Louisiana, up in Maryland. I'm probably going to lose Virginia this turn. If he's not going to get Old South, he's probably going to want to get high tech eventually. But he's going for the Old South. He's opening up in Massachusetts. Let's see if he goes Utah as well. He does not. Lots of pressure everywhere. Go up two pips in Arizona. I'm going to try to clash in Utah. I'm going to defend Virginia a little bit this turn. Go for South Carolina and Louisiana. And I just get my turn in. He did open up Nebraska, so he can get Towning Gown uncontested. So no need to attack him there anymore. Let's go ahead and pivot to some of these old South um, manufacturing African-American states. So I have 115,000 of swing. I actually feel pretty confident that that's going to be safe. So let me open up into some AA states. And, okay, so he does get African-American, so I need to flip something now. Um, I could defend Virginia and Arizona here with my swing. Let's actually try to go for town and gown, take it away. So I was sneakily in Nebraska. And let's see if this works here. So he does flip Alabama, but we do take away Town and Gown. Okay, so now we're at a pretty commanding spot here. Um, I think I'm going to go up into Massachusetts. Pressure. Mm. Don't think I really need to spend my swing here. I think I'm a low spend. So Eugene's going for Arkansas. Does not get a bonus. Okay, so he did go up quite a bit in Michigan. He could try to flip Maryland, D.C., Pennsylvania. I think what I'm going to do here is try to flip Michigan, go up in Illinois, flip Alabama. And if I can hold on to North Carolina and Pennsylvania, this will actually get me the manufacturing bonus via Hangman. 
Looks like Eugene's going out to California. He lost his AA bonus. We flip AA. We also get manufacturing. Beautiful turn. Let's go ahead and close off Michigan and enter into Texas. Oklahoma to give us the possibility of oil and gas. He still has not gotten his town and gown back despite being North Dakota and Vermont. Looks like that one-minute timer. He's starting to get that mush brain. Can't play like mush against George W. Bush. And that reminds me, I think there's going to be a little battle rap after this battle. So we're going to go from the 270 arena straight to the music. Stay tuned for that. You are not going to want to miss that. Let's go ahead and spin in Indiana, Kentucky, just to make sure we keep our manufacturing bonus. I've got 380 of swing. I think I'm going to save it one more turn. I can go for a Florida steal or an all-out defense in Pennsylvania if he does something crazy here. Got another zero spin. Is he going to uh, three-turn forfeit on us? Come on, you wouldn't expect a GOAT to do something like that. I mean, he's first on the leaderboard. He's got like 6,000 wins, but I don't know. I've played him a ton. The last time he beat me, I was playing in the shower. Missed my turn. It's been trash talking ever since, but I don't know. He's got a hit list, and I think I'm at the top of it. He gives credit to Jason Casey and Javier Rodriguez, and that's about it, but I don't know, man. Eugene, good game. Hello, my name is George, but let's not be around the bush. Eugene B. Dads, I just kicked your socialist tush. I've beaten you so many times. <laughs> I've lost count. Then loan me money. I'll give you some tips at a discount. The crowd cheers for me. For you, all I hear are boos. Three turn forfeit. You get the boot like someone's throwing shoes. Huh. You're a natural disaster. In the 270 arena, Jay Noonteen is trash, just like Herbert King Katrina. Your game is on the decline. We all thought you had superpowers. Once you were something, now you're gone like the Twin Towers. No one knows who you are. You're playing scared from afar. You're hiding behind Biden with so many losses. Call them battle scars. I'm curious, George. Are you the GOAT or not? Keep on playing me. Your winning percentage is shot. Go back to the lobby. and Go crush some noobs. Next time you take it that bad, you might want to bring some lube.